the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. The Lord, the God Almighty, the living God, Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah El Olam, the everlasting God of Israel, Jehovah El Gibor, Jehovah El Yon. Let the people he has spoken with me this past night in a very, very serious conversation. And the Lord took me to Asia this past night. He took me to Asia and the Lord showed me the serious idol worship that is going on in Asia. A very serious conversation from the throne of God Almighty just this night, this morning. Jehovah El Gibor, Jehovah El Olam, Jehovah El Shaddai, Jehovah El Yon. He has spoken with me, blessed people, in a very, very serious conversation. And in that conversation, this past night, this morning really, the Lord Almighty he took me to Asia. He took me to Asia, blessed people. Serious idol worship that is happening in Asia. And then after that, he took me to a house where there was a lot of homosexuality going on. Men kissing men, women kissing women, and the field of sexual immorality happening there, homosexuality. And then he showed me in that place, it was more like a lounge. It was more like there are different sofas. Groups of sofas arranged together, and you see those different groups uh, sitting there conducting that very abominable act of sexual sin, the act of abomination, homosexuality. After that, I walked out. I walked out of the door, through the door, and right in front of me was the building that had two entrances. Again, I walked out, out of that building, and right in front of me was a building. It's about 9.55 a.m. East African time, and today is Tuesday, August 20th, the year 2024. And again, I'm coming to you, blessed people, with this very tremendous news of what the Lord Almighty has spoken. Now, this past night, the living God, you can see that these conversations are daily, daily conversations, the living God of heaven. When the living God found his friends, so all the time he's sharing with them what is in his heart, what he wants them to do for him on this earth. Now, today being August 20th, this past night, blessed people, the Lord Almighty, he spoke with his two mega prophets, and he spoke with me in a very tremendous conversation, in a very, uh, a very, very critical conversation about Asia. That said the Lord of hosts, so this past night, the Lord Almighty took me to Asia and showed me the serious idol worship that is happening in Asia. Very serious idol worship happening in Asia. And in that situation, the Lord took me into a building, it looked more like a lounge, a house, and there, there were sofas set up, a big area, in groups and groups and groups. And in each of those groups were people committing homosexuality, men kissing men, women kissing women. They were involved in the abominable act of sexual sin. Sexual sin, the worst sin ever in the Bible. They were involved in the abomination of homosexuality. Men kissing men, women kissing women. Different groups of sofas and different groups of people in different groups of sofas. After that, I now, so if some of them came to engage me as if they did not want the message I was preaching out of that building through a door. And right in front of me was another building, which was my right. And that building had two entrances in Asia. The first entrance is a back door entrance. I knew that if I followed it, I would still end up in the reception because I could see the eyes of the Lord. And then the front entrance, which I followed, when I tried to enter through the front entrance, I met a funeral there. There were two dead bodies being brought out, one in a cart with many flowers on it, covered on it, and the shukas, these are clothes, which are purplish, orangish clothes. And another dead body was being wheeled in right when I was there, Pulled out, rather. And then there were these candles that were being lit. It was a temple of worship. 
And then one of them came out, one of the men came out, and he fell on his belly and he worshipped the idol. These dead bodies were being taken to the idol temple to be to be worship I mean to be worshipped there or to be to be done ritual, which was what to be done on them before they are buried. So the men came out, these candles are lined up and they are being lit. A man came out and he fell on the dust with his chest and he worshipped his, his chest and the stomach really hit the soil and he worshipped until the, the legs were, were lifted up. He was really worshipping so deep. The Lord showed me that. Idol worship, idolatry in Asia. Very, very serious. The Lord, then at that point in time, the Lord Almighty, he spoke, and then he said, tell these people to repent, and I will restore them. Otherwise, they will know that the Lord God has spoken. Tell these people to repent, and I will restore them. Otherwise, they will know that the Lord God has spoken. That is judgment. That is the same conversation the Lord gave me before the first Asian tsunami of December 26th. So it's a very, very serious conversation the Lord has had with the nations of the earth. That there is idol worship, there is idolatry, there are temples of idols, of idol worship, established without fear or trembling before the Lord. And the Lord is now commanding repentance because the Messiah is coming. That everybody needs to repent and receive Jesus and be holy and prepare for the coming of the Messiah. And so even as we are going to Asia, this is the conversation the Lord is having with the church. He wants to purify worship in Asia because He is loving the Asians. He is really longing for their souls that they may not enter into the lake of fire. But that they may be able to enter into the kingdom of God Almighty, into glory. That is love, God calling for repentance. That is a God who has set out to fight the souls of a people. That those people may not be incinerated, may not be tormented in the lake of burning sulfur eternally. It's a there. there. So God loving them and giving them a window for repentance, restoration. You now need to prepare. You need to prepare in honest, prepare repentance. That there may be a person that you may repair, prepare the way the glory is coming up on your side. Again, the Lord Almighty has spoken with me this past night, blessed people. And in that conversation, the Lord has showed me horrendous, serious idol worship happening in Asia where we are headed right now. And in that abhorrible act of idol worship, the Lord showed us a building. There was a lot of homosexuality going on in that house, in that lounge. After that, when I walked out, there's a building on my right-hand side, and a small walkway like this. It's a place that has so many buildings. A temple building. And I saw two entrances, one the back entrance, one the front. When I chose to go through the front, then I saw two dead bodies. One dead body had been brought in a cut. It's covered with flowers and also covered with, uh, with some cloth, which is purplish coming to orangish. Then I saw okay, another, another dead body is being wheeled out from the temple. They are being taken into the temple for rituals. They do rituals with dead bodies. And many candles were put on the soil and lit, lit, lit like this, in a straight line. Then somebody came out of the temple there and fell to, the, to his chest and stomach on the soil. They got to worship those idols in those idol temples where the dead bodies were. Worshipping so deep such that even the legs lifted up. You, his belly and chest were so much in the soil in deep worship with dust going up. Such like that the legs were lifted up on this other side. The Lord demonstrating to me the abhorrible abomination, the abominable act of idol worship. Remember, we serve a jealous God. And one of the standards the Lord will use to judge the nations of the earth and the people, each person, is the fact that he is a jealous God. 
that when he was patient with you for many years asking you to repent and return to him, you worship another. He's a jealous God that judges to the fourth and fifth generation, the second and third generation down there. He will judge people on that day in the lake of fire. Now, after that, the Lord showed me a lot of homosexuality that is in Asia. For some time now, he has shown me a lot of transgenders and homosexuals, and he has shown me also the eating of unclean animals there. The slaughtering of puppies and eating them, and big dogs also, and serpent snakes. They get big snake farm with big serpents being grown there and put in containers and exported by aircraft. The Lord showed me they were being caught by long wire, wire catching the neck and being pulled and then slaughtered in the kitchen and cooked. So this is serious. The Messiah is coming. For those who are born again, you must eagerly await the Savior. He is coming. All creation groans, deep groaning, eagerly awaiting the day when the Messiah returns. And the true sons of God are revealed at glorification. Only those who are glorified belong to the Lord. To Darabah, Yom Tov Haverim.